Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I cannot believe we just won that game. Um, we have to thank God for this win, so please stand for the prayer and pledge, and please remember we are in God's holy presence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Heavenly Father, please don't let the joy of winning push us off the path that you want us to take. Please help us realize that winning is not everything and help us be determined to win in your eyes. Let us do this in your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you ready wait, wait, wait. for the... Maya, we have a surprise for you. What? Watch, follow us. What are you guys doing? Are you ready for the best Friday ever, Bishop Gorman? Because BGTV is coming at you in five, four, three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> Rocking the vibe song, extreme blue and orange. Climbing up the OG Tower. Night at a table is not going to work. We're giving a dead cat a shower. Start every class with prayer. Carlos Gomez is here. Rocking out with teachers who dance. And this is BGTV. Today is Friday, April 15th, and today is Take a Wild Guest Day. So take a wild guess how we are celebrating, because I have no idea. Last Saturday, families Weird. and animal lovers alike joined together to celebrate pets. You could say it was a petapalooza. Brandon Beltram has a story. We're here at Sunset Park at the 17th annual Petapalooza. From the looks of this event, it just looks like the county fair. But that's not quite it. Petapalooza is a day for a whole family. We have pet adoptions. You can come here and meet your new forever friend. You can come here with your current dog and check out some of the great booths and vendors that we have. Lots of items. We have canine demonstrations and then we have lots of entertainment. And it's all for free. But you have to keep in mind, this place isn't all dogs. Yes, oh, it's crazy. Come out of here. You think it's just dogs. You see dogs, you see cats, you see pigs, you see goats, you see parrots, uh, uh, snakes. People walk around with these big snakes around their necks and everything. It's a trip. They just come walking up to the booth, and that's how you find out who's afraid of snakes. Even though there's plenty of fun with the family to be held, we ask for the deeper meaning of Petapalooza. The main purpose is just for families to get out and come out and have a great time with their pets and stuff. At the same time, also, animals that need to be adopted, hooking them up with families that are looking for pets. So it's a great event for families, but at the end of the day, too, a lot of animals that need homes are walking out here with homes. With dogs, cats, and snakes running around the park, it's a great event to possibly meet your new four-legged companion and spend time with the ones you already have. I'm Brandon Beltram for BG TV. Wow, that must have been a howling event. Ms. Scoville recently won an award for Golden Speech and Debate. We caught up with her and some of her students who definitely would not want to argue that she's very deserving of this award. With the speech and debate season finally coming to a close, I spoke with Bishop Gorman's very own speech and debate national qualifier and the Southern Nevada Speech and Debate Coach of the Year. I think I did really well this season. Uh, most of the tournaments I went at, I placed really highly, and yeah, I'm really excited to competing at nationals this year. I went last year, and it was a really great experience, and I'm super excited that I qualified again this year. Our season for speech and debate has been tremendous hard work, great camaraderie, amazing research and preparation, and a lot of fun. I was very honored to be named Coach of the Year, and I was very proud of Alex that he qualified for nationals. He's had a great season this year, um, not only as a competitor, but as one of our team captains. So I'm really happy that he gets to go to, to the national tournament. Congratulations, Mrs. Scoville, and good luck at nationals, Alex. I'm Ariana Magliodidi, reporting for BGTV. I definitely would not want to argue with any of those guys. Now let's fly through this week's Gorman Scoop.
congratulations to this week's Freshman Pride Award winners, Maria Corzo, Lauren LaPlaca, and Adam Mesa, as nominated by Mr. Crane, Ms. Wilson, and Ms. Block. Keep up the good work. Time is running out to purchase the 2016 yearbook at the reduced price of $100. Visit Jostens.com or room 206 after school to purchase. NHS juniors will meet after school on Wednesday, April 20th to nominate new leaders for next school year. Meet in lecture hall 326 at 2 p.m. See Mr. Gordermiller with any questions. If you apply for the summer internship program, there will be a mandatory meeting immediately after school on Monday in room 506. Now let's toss the ball over to Olivia Maloof with sports. Olivia. Thanks, Thomas. What's up, Bishop Gorman? I'm Olivia Maloof here with your Bishop Gorman Sports. Our baseball team is 20-3 following a victory this past Wednesday against Snow Canyon. Their next game is against Legacy on Saturday at 11 a.m. Keep up the good work. Our women's softball team will also play against Legacy tomorrow at 3.30, so spend your Saturday afternoon showing the softball team some support. Women's lacrosse season is going great so far with another win against Coronado this week. Roll the highlights. Nikki Watson passes to Skylar Minden, who then whips it in for a goal. Alex Jones completes a corner shot from a free position. Maddie Lauer runs down through the defense for a goal. At halftime, the score was 5-3. to three. Alex Jones then passes it to Maddie Lauer, who scores with the bottom corner shot. Maddie Lauer speeds, the, speeds down the open lane for yet another goal. Caitlin McLean makes a great shot from a free position. Megan Wajasingha completes com far post shot. The final score is 12 to seven. Their biggest home game so far this year is against Desert Hills, Utah at 7.30 here at the G. Go on support your gales. Men's volleyball so far is 15 and nine and only have five games left. Their next game is this Tuesday at six against Legacy. Go out and support them for these last couple of games. Their next boys and girls track meet is here at Tuesday, here at the school at 3.30 against Legacy. Come out and support your gales before you run out of time. Boys Golf placed third in the Southern Nevada Invitational yesterday, and their next game is this Tuesday as well. Good luck. I'm Olivia Loof. Back to you guys. Well, that's all for now, Bishop Gorman. I'm Thomas Rodrigues. And I'm Javon Chaparro. And this is BGTV.